Hello everyone, this is Shayna of the Sea Pearl. And yes, this is the same Olivia, but she has a different hat on. I uh, didn't like the headband on her. The more I looked at her, the more I'm like, she needs more of her head covered. If Oliver has his head covered, so should she. And to me, she looks a lot cuter in this little hat than, than just the headband. Um, the headband made her look too much like from 1981 or 82, which is not a bad decade. I like the 80s. I grew up listening to the music, but for an octopus, it just doesn't work. Um, I guess you could call this hat style a uh, Gilligan style or a um, open seashell style. Uh I had to move her around a little bit so you could see her. I'm going to turn her, yeah, I'm going to turn the hat backwards so you can see the the way it's um, stitched up at the top. See how it's kind of like a seashell or more of a Gilligan style cap. I'm actually calling this cap a sea cap and I'm going to see... Oh, I know I can. I'm going to try and do adult versions of this particular style. Um, I also need to show you the decorative little accent to make it more feminine and girly. Thanks to uh, Raphael Vinci. I'm going to try and get it in the light more. Thanks to Raphael Vinci uh, who gave me this lovely pen for my little Olivia so she can feel more girly and and a little more cute for her boyfriend Oliver um when I make you these hats for these girl octopus ladies and gentlemen the pins do not come with them the pins are something you would have to order from Raphael Vinci herself either on her own Facebook page or at the Pirate Wares catalog. She's always posting that. Um, and the Pirate Wares catalog can be found on Facebook as well. This was a lovely donation and gift from a from the dear artist herself and friend. Thank you, Sunny. I love you. This is so beautiful and so cute on her. Um if you want a little girl made, ladies and gentlemen, in any color, now I can do that. Um, and she will get a sea cap, as I like to call them. And Oliver gets the little snow hoodie cap. If you've seen my pictures of Oliver, you can go to the Sea Pearl at the, on the Facebook page to see what Oliver, the different Olivers look like. But the girls now are going to get this. I'm going to take the cap off. Are now going to get uh, this little cap right here. Um, like I say, the pin I do not make, nor will it come with the hat. The hat will be plain, just like this side here. Um... And it will come with the girls. All girls will get this cap. The boys will get what Oliver has. Um, I'm planning on making other little boys different characters for little boys. I just have to figure out their little accessories. So that they look different and not the same Oliver in a different hat or whatever. Um... The reason, and I figured this out today, um, this originally was going to be a rose, and it didn't work out that way, um, but in looking at this little hat, it reminded me of something I read in a book that I'm going to read to you now, and that is why, and it'll explain why this is called a sea cap. It's from um, the history of mermaids and creatures of the deep. It is very much like the Dragonology books or um, all.
all the ology books that are out there that are very popular this book is very much like that it's called um, this section is called sea caps and mermaid purses um, and there if you can see right there is the sea cap so I'm gonna read what the words say over here I know you can't see it so I'm gonna read it to you sea caps and mermaid purses off the coast of Killard Ireland the famous merman named Kumara or sea dog occasionally made use of two enchanted hats known as sea caps wearing one of his magical caps Kumara could leave the water and visit land. The other cap, which he carried with him, allowed a human to breathe underwater and thus to return with him to the sea. It is a rare it is rare that such gifts are granted, but should a sea cap or a mermaid's purse that's what this is over here. Or a mermaid's purse be given to a land dweller. The recipient would be unwise to take either for granted. Despite being known to bring luck, mermaid purses and sea caps should be treated with caution. So there you go. There is the sea cap and the mermaid purse. Now, I am planning on making an adult version, instead of just a doll version, of the mermaid cap. And if you notice, if I can place it, place it with the pearl out. If you look at the picture here, and you look at this here, they're very, very, very similar. So, I'm going to try and work on an adult version, if anyone is interested, and a sea cap. And there will be this little legend I can type up for you if you're interested in having this part. Or I can give you, um, the name of the book is probably what I should do because I don't want to get in trouble. I'll give you the name of the book and you can uh, get it for yourselves and with the name of the author. This is a very interesting book that I have. Like I said, it's very much like um, Dragonology and Wizardology kind of thing. And I'm, for those who know me, I'm very fascinated by mermaids. I actually played a mermaid myself. So anything that has to do with mermaids and pirates, I'm all for it. So, okay. Talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye.